Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. My hair has deflated <laughs> over the course of the morning, and I feel like I have this thin film of dankness over me. Yeah, it's just one of those days. Yeah. I mean, what a difference from yesterday and on Wednesday when we had that beautiful yeah. kind of summery uh, weather. We're back into uh, April showers, and I know for a lot of folks still trying to clean up and recover from last week's flood, any rainfall makes your anxiety yeah. level rise. So we'll go down and take a look at the details, let you know just how much rain will fall. Let's go down and take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar right now, because over Rhode Island, we are seeing some steady rain for most communities, and I want to focus in on the area around the Patuxent River through West Warwick, Warwick and Cranston, the East Natick neighborhood, Pontiac, uh, all seeing rain. So far, we've picked up a little over a quarter of an inch of rainfall, and I think by the time the day is done, we'll probably near a half to even possibly three quarters of an inch of rain in spots. It's going to be enough to slow the recession of water levels for rivers and streams, but also kind of slow things down for people that are still dealing with those high groundwater levels and having to keep their uh, sump pumps going in their basement. So any rain at this point is certainly not welcome, but we're not expecting widespread flooding rains with this storm system. And a gray, dreary, damp day. City cam showing all that. 54 degrees the temperature right now with an east-southeast wind at about 6 miles per hour in the humidity no surprise, up near 100%. Low to mid-50s, most areas. It's cooler, though. Westerly is at 48. Willimantic's dropped down to... Uh, Westerly's at 50. Willimantic's dropped down to 48. Worcester's at 47. And Block Island at 48 degrees. So, so far, about a quarter of an inch of rain from Jim in North Smithfield, as well as uh, Robert and Fault River. 55 from Kelly in Westport. She's picked up about a tenth of an inch of rain. I think the shift of the uh, steadier rainfall will move into eastern Massachusetts as we head now into the second half of the day. But we'll still look for off and on rain across Rhode Island into this afternoon and possibly even as late as early this evening. We look off to our south, though, not a lot of soaking or heavy rainfall uh, to our south. Cold front responsible for bringing all the wet weather. It's going to move off the coastline. It's going to uh, bring an end to our little summer fling that we had last couple of days, too. In fact, already feeling that chill. But the real cold air is over the Great Lakes. By the time we get into uh, tomorrow morning, I expect us to wake up to temperatures in the upper 30s in quite a few communities. So future cast at 2 o'clock in the afternoon showing some of those steady rain showers continuing. And they'll start to wind down as we head into the evening and then uh, be ending overnight with clearing skies. So this is a little slow clearing out the clouds. I think by the time we get up Saturday morning, we're back to mostly sunny skies, and it sticks around through the day. This afternoon, temperatures staying in the low to mid-50s with off and on rain and drizzle and a little bit of blustery, too. West winds will pick up as that front swings through our area up to 20-mile-an-hour gusts. So about 53 in Charlestown, 54 in Coventry, northern Rhode Island, lower 50s, Burrowville situate a real cool, raw day with rain continuing. And again, rain, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, although I'm not finding much off to our south. So this evening, we start to dry out, clearing skies overnight, temperatures down to 39 by 5. 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then for the weekend, overall not bad. 58 on Saturday. Sunday, a mild day at 65, but we may see a sprinkle sometime Sunday evening or Sunday night. Back to about 64 high on Monday with the pretty quiet weather it looks like for much of next week. Got to put the flip-flops and the t-shirts and shorts <laughs> away for a day or so here. April in New England can be pretty wild. I still have sunscreen in my purse from Wednesday. <laughs>